Hi. So in this chi sao drill, we're going to learn how to be more sensitive to the lower part of the body when the opponent is about to kick. So we start our chi sao doing basic luck sao. We roll. And when you're doing your luck sao, you want to have a stick. Okay. I don't like to decompress. You see some people do their chi sao like this. What happens if there's no reason to decompress, you lose a little bit of your sensitivity. And if the person has a lot of forward energy, when I decompress, she's going to come in on my decompression. So that's, that's why we, we don't roll like that. We roll with a steady stick on the center line. We try to stay as relaxed as possible. Okay, you want to be aware of your weight. And what you want to feel through the contact with your wrist is when I pick my leg up to kick, she's going to send energy to my supporting leg. Wherever that is, she's going to try to send it to that shoulder. Now, if, on the wooden dummy, you see in between sections we have these, these two movements. She can, she can give me a little tug, or she can give me a little, pull, a little push, whatever's appropriate. And what I'm going to try to do, I slow it down, I'm going to do the kick, and I'm going to try to get the kick in, and I'm going to give her a chance to counter it. Now with a movement like this, if she pulls me in, pull me in, careful because you can, I can borrow her energy. So if a person's going to pull you in, it has to be at the right moment where I just lift the leg. If it, my leg is already this high and you're pulling me in, then no good. She's got to do exactly that and push back on the arm. So we'll just play with this a little bit and just we'll, we'll see how she does, okay? Good. So you get the idea. So practice this, try it, try it slow, and get used to the feeling of when the opponent's stepping. So it, it, when we're doing luck sound, chi sound, of course, we're moving sometimes, we're moving, right? Person comes in towards me, and we're adjusting our stepping. You have to always be keenly aware of that step. And if you saw my last video, when we're moving and the person steps towards you, you want to take their position where they want to step and then continue from there. Okay, so that's just an example of how you start putting these pieces together. We like to isolate the different components, and then in the end, when we do shisa, we put them all together. So give that a try. I think you'll like it.